Hey everyone, Editor Myrtle here. I just wanted to pop in real quick before the video to let you know that yes, we are aware that this is not the song that's going to be representing Ukraine this year in Eurovision. Um, we do talk about it a bit in the video before we get started. We were aware that that was a possibility, but in case any of you hopped on this video just so you could hurry up and get in the comment section to let me know that uh, this is not Ukraine's song for Eurovision, um, don't worry, I'm aware. Uh, we wanted to at least present you with our reaction to the song anyway, since we've recorded it back when it was still lined up as the official entry. Um, and just, yeah, if you're interested in hearing our thoughts, here they are for you. And we wish Alina Posh all the best in the world. Thanks. Hi everyone, welcome back to our videos. We're here still reacting to Eurovision 2022. Uh, if you've been joining us on this journey, you know we've had our ups and downs already. We've had some songs that are like, yes, and some songs that are like, meh. Um, but we're hoping that the song from Ukraine is going to be in the yes category. Um, we are recording this on February 15th. So as of today, this is the official selection for Ukraine 2022. But there have arisen some questions as to whether or not the singer Alina Pash will be attending this year. Oh. We're not going to go into any of it in this video, so just if things have changed since we recorded this, I'm still going to upload it and post it. So there Are you we going to do a reaction if it changes? Into the next Ukraine video? Yeah. We'll see what happens. <laughs> All right. Um, also, I, thanks, internet. I write the title of the song, and this is me <laughs> scribbling what it says on there. Yeah. So I cannot pronounce the <laughs> title in Ukrainian. In English, it is Shadows of Forget Forgotten. <laughs> Ooh, Shadows of Forgotten <laughs> Ancestors. Ancestors. Okay. Shadows of Forgotten Ancestors. You are louder than me, so when you talk over me, it's actually like no one can hear what I'm saying. <laughs> it's just like normal. Just like normal. Just All like right, let's IRL. do this. Okay, stop screaming. See, I like the hat. I was going to say, is this the eagle? I just tell she's gonna lay it down the chorus. Hmm. This is my thinking face. I like the chorus. I'm a girl from a small town. My folks are best described in writings of Juma. One for all and all for one. Nowadays, dancing would have written the divine tragedy. But we need Picasso's doll, it's the divine strategy. And my childhood girls played with toy dolls. But I wrote these words here, because my favorite toy was the book of Shakespeare. Just like the brothers scream, I leave behind a piece of me. Remember your ancestors. I like her energy. <laughs> Woo. 
<laughs> oh, it cut out. I mean, the song was over, but it still cut out mid energy there. <laughs> I mean, there wasn't much I could say, like, in the middle of in it. In the video, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Any thoughts? I think she really felt that. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. that's what I got from that <laughs> yeah. whole yes. thing. Yep. It, like, it didn't matter if she was speaking in English or not. I seriously would have still felt her. Like, I still mm. would have understood this song. Um, yeah, that's that's where I'm at with it. Cool. Yeah, I I agree. I think that the part that she felt the most passionate about it was when she was doing the spoken mm -hmm. part. Mm -hmm. But personally for me, I, that was actually my least favorite part of the song. Okay. Just, uh, I felt like it was a little bit more disjointed from the rest of the song. Um, Interesting. It didn't seem to flow as well, but she was very passionate about it and her passion definitely showed through that part of the song. Yeah. Um, I really like the the stacked voices in the chorus. Yes. I that sounds really excellent. Yeah. I think in the beginning, vocally something was a little bit not quite there, but it got better. It sounded like it was nerves. Like her hand was just a little bit shaky. Yeah. The mic. So um yeah. it might have been just kind of nerves or I couldn't tell if it was that or if it was just like not quite in the right register. Okay. But uh yeah. in case you're wondering what a movie or scene I'm thinking of in my head while listening to this song. It is a documentary about cats. So like a tiger or a lion or a jaguar or a panther. I feel like I'm near, I'm in a nearby Bears. documentary. Okay. This takes me to a nearby documentary of um, like any fast animals chasing other animals in slow-mo though uh not in slow-mo but from a distance from like drone interesting that's where that's where i was taking because i'm seeing slow -mo. not related to the meaning of the song whatsoever but again music is just transporting us to places in our minds <laughs> and now you have an open window which to may <laughs> have absolutely nothing to do with the lyrics but it has I nothing don't know to do with the, with the lyrics, lyrics. <laughs> yes so it's about how her people have gone through a lot in history and how like what it's very true yes <laughs> yeah. but it's a song of hope it's a it's a song about like um yeah remembering the what our ancestors have been through remembering them and writing your own history and i guess well the english rap portion in the middle kind of went through that yeah. but went through it yep. quickly how like other people have written about them and um or they deserve to have been expressed by other artists um, kind of throughout history. But at the end of the day, you write your own history. Mm -hmm. That's all. Tyler? So I, I will say a couple of things. First of all, Ukraine has been doing great for the last couple of years. Like, they're, I, in Eurovision. In your, in your, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> I think, I, I honestly think, that part of that is it is a especially right now very tense time in ukraine and it's been tense for several years and i think that that is feeding into these song submissions into this where they like it is it's just bringing the the artists are bringing all of that mm -hmm. like all that real that real emotion the real strife that they're they're feeling the real tension throughout the whole country is coming into Eurovision where it is an outlet for them to express that and for the world to see it. And they're, they're really Without just not being political, not being political. Like, I mean, it's no <laughs> doubt like, tense regardless of where you feel about it, sure. but it, it, it like, that's how they're feeling and they're bringing it into Eurovision and that's inspiring some, you know, great performances from them. And, uh, and this is no exception. She's very clearly very raw with this song. Mm -hmm. Right. And she's not, I, you know, I don't want to throw any shade, but like, at least in this performance was not a very strong vocalist compared to, you know, yeah. the strongest in Eurovision. 
but it worked very, very well for this song. Like, mm -hmm. I think if she were a really strong vocalist, it wouldn't play as well in the song. Like, that kind of uh, raw feeling that she has into it, the kind of... Uh, um, it feels less rehearsed and more... Uh, Just More direct well. and express expressive. Yeah. yeah, and I think that that really actually plays to the benefit of, of the song, and I don't know if that's intentional on her part or not. Yeah. But it's... It's very good, um, and I don't usually like slow songs, but there's an intensity in this one that I like a lot. There is an intensity. It's it's a certain level of discomfort that doesn't make you tune out. Like, mm -hmm. some performances can be really uncomfortable, and you're just like, ugh. But this is, like, just... She's sharing just enough <laughs> to kind of keep you on the edge of your seat and want to hear more. I'm really on the fence with how I feel about, I don't want her to lose any of that raw, natural emotion. Um, but I, I want it to be just slightly cleaner somehow. And I, I don't know how to make that happen in my mind. <laughs> it seems like this performance had a lot of adrenaline for her. Like she was, it was enough adrenaline that it kind of, I think it kind of shook, not just her, but I think the backing singers as well, mm -hmm. like threw everything at it. But, uh, so much so that maybe the lost some stability. So I think maybe, yeah, just a little bit more grounding, a little more stability in the vocals and it would be really, really powerful. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have one more thing. Is it about um, cats? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I liked the eyes, but the one of her face Distracting. was too creepy for me. Like something about the expression. You heard it on here. Her... Maya thinks her face is creepy. No, that's not how you feel like, about her. Her face when she was performing was fine, but the one I in know. the I background know. was very forced uh, feeling. Did okay. it seem weird to you? I didn't pay a lot of attention no. to it to be honest. I, I saw like the one it, time where it was like zoomed in and it was like a tear thing, but like no, the eyes like, were good. Just the yeah. face in the middle. Yeah, I was not. I was not paying a lot of attention. I think they could could uh, do some other things. That, Instead yeah. of just I mean, that'll change background. before. Yeah. You're over yeah. For sure. So, montage. Montage <laughs> of cats. No. Please don't. Please Not don't. of cats. No one will understand. <laughs> montage. It'll be the montage from Rocky. That's what it's going to be. So, these are our thoughts and feelings about the song. <laughs> you have thoughts and feelings about our thoughts and feelings. Please leave them below. <laughs> if you have hearts uh, and minds about our hearts and cats. minds. Thank you so much for joining us <laughs> this whole way. If you're still here. Such a journey. Take a nap. Do something. Drink some water. Revive yourself. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Again, let us know how you feel about this song. Does Ukraine get your vote this year? Um, and yeah, we will be back with another video soon. Meanwhile, thanks for joining us. Bye. <laughs>